Hi, and thanks for watching Amy's Pottery and More. The grind continues. Here's the first four of 20 of the additional candles that we're making. Please stay and continue to watch the grind as we knock out the other 16. See you soon. Look it, look it, look it. We have grinded out 10 so far. We have another 10 to go. And uh, when we come back, in a little while, what we're gonna probably end up doing is uh, cutting these off their, uh, their base so that they'll be easier to take off tomorrow. So, we've grinded out 10 and we've got 20 to go. Thanks for watching, and I hope you stay. Okay, we're back here, and we're just gonna knock off these 10 uh, pottery candles, get them off their ceramic boards uh, before we can toss the next 10. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these off real quick, and we're gonna gently move them up. We got here is sometimes they're really there there's one get that off throw the board there and uh, there we go there's two
And there we have it. We have uh, successfully moved our uh, pottery cups. And later on, I'll show you how to get rid of some of those little fingerprints if that's a problem with you. Uh, there's a nice little uh, screen tool that drywall folks use, and I'll point that out at a later time. But now we've moved these two off their uh, ceramic pottery boards, and uh, we'll let them dry out. And we're going to clean up the boards, okay, and get ready to throw the final 10 of the next 20 of The Grind Continues. Keep it on, Amy's Pottery and More, and we'll see you in a minute. All right, all right. Thanks for watching Amy's Pottery and More as we ground out another 20 candles. We appreciate you staying and watching our work. And we'll see you in about a week to 10 days. And the next step will be when these are coming out of their bisque firing. So you'll see us when we're ready to glaze the next 20. And then uh, it's important because we're, we're nearing about 100 candles. And I think it's important uh, that people understand, you know, 100 candles, that's not, that's not really a lot. Uh, here in New York, when you uh, go to the craft shows and the farmers markets and the trade shows, uh, you know, lately they've been asking you to stay there for six to eight hours. And if you don't have enough inventory, uh, they'll let you... They'll let you sell out on the first one, but they won't invite you back. So if you're going to go sit at a farmer's market or a trade show or a craft show, uh, you know, for six to eight hours, uh, and, you know, it's it's got a habit of, you know, five to 10,000 people coming uh, to that show throughout the season, uh, then I think you're probably going to need a little bit more than 100 products. And then the reality is, is you can't really make money with just 100 products. So as you can see, this is somewhat of a laborious process, but it's an add-on process for us. So we're okay with it. So uh, this is just some of the work that we keep doing as we grind it out. And once again, thank you so much for watching Amy's Pottery and More. And we'll see you in about 10 to 12 days. Thank you so much.